possibilities there. Okay. Um, Let us move on as we are now going to cover the muchly awaited brand new Millennium Falcon. Absolutely. As I am going so, so excited for this. Worth noting, Uh, this is the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon. Uh, And uh, it's actually really nice. After Lando broke it. Yeah. (laughs) After Lando broke it, uh, (laughs) Thing will arrive once immediately. Now, this model, we were having a look at this model earlier. Um, if you'd like, to, if if this the thing will show you, yeah. it's so, a beautiful model. First thing, completely to learn about new the recast. Rear, engine glow, no FFG sh- um, X-wing chip until now. They've ever actually painted an engine glow onto it, but now we've actually got one for this Falcon. The other they've thing, put I a will lot make, of effort into this. Yeah, the other thing I will mention mm. is they've actually gridded it as well. The old Millennium Falcon was just a black space, completely yes. black space. Yes, uh, they've actually mm. added an engine grid on there as well. Uh, we um, would show you, but we don't actually have the old Million Falcon with us. Well, um, uh, well we do, but it's uh, this guy repainted it. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it was a little bit... Um, yeah. So we were able to show you that. However, you can see the beautiful glow. If you look on the bottom of the ship as well, there is new detailings on the bottom there, being able to show you the ramps that, are, uh, that can deploy on the bottom, as well as uh, some beautiful new tech work on the bottom. The repaint is beautiful. Most importantly, though, yep, there is a new satellite dish on the top. On the top. And before anyone asks, yes, it is articulated. It can do what the old one can do. Look at that. Yeah, totally. It just gives me... Goosebumps seeing that. It's so cool. I think we can all agree that that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. Of this so thing. Does the done move. now, that's fine. <laughs> Everything else in the box is secondary to that. <laughs> Absolutely, um, yes. How um, a satellite? So many extra details. Um, I was looking through and noticed model. all of the uh, exposed machine work in the panels. Yeah. Um, every single panel is different to the uh, old mm-hmm. Millennium the, Falcon. Uh, they've altered the cockpit slightly. I think yeah, they've done a whole bunch of stuff. Absolutely, it it's, looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely it's, beautiful. Yeah, and of course, coming with the uh, Millennium Falcon or brand new Millennium Falcon uh, YT thirteen hundred. I can say a ship name. Uh, <laughs> are four brand new pilots, including a brand new generic pilot. Well, you say yes. brand new. They're not all exactly one hundred percent brand new, are uh, they? Uh, they all have new abilities and new, but the, we've got some familiar faces. We have in got there. some familiar. Faces, An interesting I point about the uh, new ability um, pilots is they're all exactly the same points as the previous ones. They are mm. indeed as well, which is fantastic. Yeah. Only the resistance pilots. We don't have an image for that. We do not have a resistance for the resistance uh, sympathizer, the resistance sympathizer, which is our brand new yep. generic pilot, which will be talked about by Gareth. Yeah. Yes. Um, well. Uh, you finally get the fixed stat line. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's face it. Uh, I no one used that yeah. poor um, outer rim spot. I, uh, yes, you're paying effectively 11 points for two pilot skill, um, two extra hull, and an extra... Sh- one pilot skill. Uh, no, pilot skill one. Pilot skill the ones. They, they were pilot skill one. That's, that's how bad they were. Well, <laughs> they were 11 points for it. No, um, they are, but they are one pilot you're, skill. You're paying 11 points for an extra shield, yep. two extra hull, you're probably an extra primary problem. weapon attack, and two pilot skill. Which is what, I think, quite frankly, we've seen, we saw before. Um, uh, you compare it to the punishing one The punishing one is 12 Master. points for 12 points for just an attack dice. Yes. And it's the same jump as well, from two to three. Yeah. So they're saying that that on its own is worth it, it, twelve points. So mm-hmm. uh, it's it's yeah. Um, the yeah, there we are. There is the original yeah. right there. I, I, I mean, so, look at it. Twenty-seven you, points. You haven't so looked at that since you, you're, you're, the box, you're paying eleven points uh, for so thirty-eight points to get the fixed sat line of every other what's considered to be a good Falcon. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you don't only get the um, additional attack, you also get the additional, uh, I think uh, it's a shield? Uh, you get an hull. extra shield, yeah, two more hull, hull and, a, and a primary weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with two more pilot skill. Which is so much more. So yeah. much and a more. missile. And a missile. Oh, yes, and oh, a missile. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. uh, did, did you not get the missile slot in the old? No, you did not get oh, the missile slot. So just the you two even crew. get a better Shows upgrade how much bar. The, no <laughs> one has actually used it. No one really used it. No one ever used the outrage This is the first time you've seen that card since you opened the box. Absolutely. Now, it's worth noting that the original Millennium Falcon box was released as part released as part of Wave 1 or 2? Wave 1. Wave 2. Oh, it was Wave 2? Wave 2. Wave 2 was the old 
And it was when FFG, Fantasy Flight Games, was still trying to figure out how it worked. Mm. No other ship released in any way before or since then has ever had a different stat line with the sole exception of elite pilot talent slots. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. Only the Outer Ring Smuggler had that lower attack value, lower hull and lower shields. Yeah. And now it was, yeah. was missing the EPT so and missiles. Missile. Exactly. Now found out. Maybe <laughs> something they, were, they, they, they um, thought they might try to do an experiment that didn't work. Absolutely. I, I, and it's good that they've realised that that was a complete mistake yeah. and they should never have done it. I think if they were doing it nowadays, what they'd probably do is they'd roll all of those upgrades into, into a, a single, title. very expensive Millennium Falcon title. As they did with the Punishing yeah. one. Absolutely. Um, um, but at the time... I like the way that they've done it. Yes. Um, Wonderfully the, on our stream, sorry I will interrupt you, is uh, Elliot putting up there, will be putting up there shortly, the old Wave 2 um, yes. Millennium Falcon. But continue, um, sorry. I... 11 points, it might seem like a lot of points, but it's so worth it. Uh, if you've got 40 or 45 spare points, you've still got the two crew slots and access to a modification. Mm-hmm. There's so much you can do with it. Um, it's, I was say, for starters, you can fit two of them, <laughs> which uh, is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you can comfortably fit two of them kitted out, um, mm. let alone having two Millennium Falcons, one named, one... Uh, resistant sympathizer or without having to be so strict with your points and cutting corners and removing upgrades to fit two named pilots Mm -hmm. um, just to get that stat line absolutely yeah Uh, you have an idea with the sympathizer as well don't you yes uh, I've been toying with um, putting uh, one of the new crew cards out of this pack the hotshot co-pilot on there making it the same points as uh, uh, Chewbacca, so bring it up to 42 points, but it strips focus from your opponent if they're shooting at you mm-hmm. and if you shoot at them. Um, Absolutely. And at pilot skill 3, it's not too much of an issue. We'll c- and we'll come on to that in more depth at, uh, later, but yeah, there's lots of different possibilities. In particular, the Rebels have really lacked up until now mm-hmm. crew slots, haven't they? Yes. 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 This uh, is the only ship yeah, in the we, game we now have an abundance for the Rebels <laughs> until the U-Wing comes out that can carry more than a single crew member. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the which is VCX-100 Ghost ah, can carry um, good point. Yes. as well. Ghost can. Yeah, so my apologies. So that's in a second. A second? Yeah. Well, we were and we're the VCX is still fairly well, new, comparatively yeah. new. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, the old Falcon still could, so really it's just more things for the one that could do it before. As but, far as um, where we still don't have the uh, ever-elusive three crew slots on a rebel ship. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, I'm afraid. No. Well, let's face it. I mean, the we've only seen it thing, on the Decimator. Yeah, the only thing we've had um, so far was the... Decimator and the Hounds 2. And the Hounds, Hounds, Hounds 2. Right. So yes. Scum and Imperials have both yeah. got a ship with three crew. Absolutely. Rebels still don't, I don't think. Mm. Uh, it is, yeah. So, lots of good no, possibilities so. there. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's nicely pointed, and they, they didn't go over the top with adding points on it for the better stat line. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Moving swiftly forward, we have our first of the uh, remakes of the pilots. Yes. Chewbacca's come back! <laughs> yes. um, and yes. this time he's apparently out for revenge. Uh, <laughs> yes. very good he's not taking hits anymore, boys! <laughs> he's dishing them back! Yeah. Oh, no, he's taking the hits now. He's so, given up on that yeah. part. <laughs> so just, to re- uh, just to recap, Chewie's old ability was, was that his crits were dealt to him face down, not face. Uh, well, no, he they were dealt immediately to, face he, down. Yeah, he flipped them face down, ignoring the ability. Ignoring the, ability, ignoring the effect Absolutely. of crits. Which yeah, was appropriate given, it was appropriate given Chewbacca's skill as an engineer. Yes. But let's face it, as an ability, it was actually quite you know dull, wasn't it? It's not yeah. hugely interesting. Oh, the amount it's... of times that I've like Good, made, made but, a point uh, to fit Chewbacca in a rebel list yeah. just because that ability was so nice. Oh, it was really good. It was good. interesting, but back in the, yeah, now, yeah. As I but say, the back new in one, the... the new one, he gets a free attack every time one of your ships blows up. It's not limited to once per turn. It is not limited to once per turn. Is it limited Any by range? One to three. Range one to three. So <laughs> anything that dies in your firing range, effectively. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Which is ludicrously good. It's really um, excellent. The it, uh, It's kind of a build-around ability, though. A bit, I yes. would say more of a fly-around ability, actually, yeah. to be honest. It's more of the fact mm. that, again, you, you're, it's, it's rewarding you for flying close to your True. friends. True. Mm. Um, now... 
obvious there's the obvious one of uh, you fly if you fly him next to well, I'd say two obvious ones you fly him next to Biggs he gets a shot when Biggs dies because Biggs is going to die Biggs will die Biggs will die they're going to shoot at Biggs who's going to be next to <laughs> Chewbacca which means they're going to get shot at by Chewbacca oh the old Biggs Chewy builds <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, they're or, or Z95 swarms <laughs> <laughs> and you these are love your Z95s passion. they are great <laughs> <laughs> best thing um no, um, Chewbacca with a whole bunch of Z95s. Which you know are going to die. How many Z95s can you fit in next to Chewie? Well, it depends on how much you want to put on Chewbacca uh, and Z95s. You could but, fit um, four of them at Pilot Skill 2 and still have yeah. ten points of upgrades on Chewie. There you go. That sounds uh, pretty uh, good. Uh, so uh, that's four free shots for Chewie, presuming he outlives all of them. Okay. Which, you know, yep. he probably can. He has the hit points to do it. Of course, you, if you want to go Maybe for a little piece. bit more in the way of quality, there's a 15-point rebel ship that you could add in there as well. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the AUA, the A-Wing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shard A-Wing, Shard refitted A-Wing. 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 Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> sadly, you can't quite fit four of those, though. Yes, that is um, the downside. Exactly uh, right. And then... And that's Chewy even without upgrades on Chewbacca. Yeah. Um, I know. I, I, three but then again, is you're, you're going to want decent. to put auto thrusters on them, and that's going to. So yeah. you're going to get three Here's of the them. Here's the thing: I wouldn't even want to put. I wouldn't even want to put auto thrusters on them because uh, I, I want them to. Die. The thing, if, <laughs> yeah. if they die, I, Chewie yeah. gets a free attack. You know, yeah. <laughs> free shots when things explode. It's yeah. uh, but, right. But one thing that has been fairly popular recently is the A wing swarm, which is the Green Squadron A wing with crack yes. shot, crack shot, and adaptability for an extra point of pilot skill in there. Yeah. And those are only three points more because adaptability is free. It mm. is. Yeah, so they one come point in for crack shot. points total uh, with the auto thrusters. Yeah. Shot. Well, if you leave off the auto thrusters, that's eighteen points apiece, um, mm. which so, is fifty-four so. points plus Chewie at forty-two. Ninety-four. That's ninety-six points. Four points left for Chewie. Is that with four of them? That's three of them. Oh, three, three of them. Three of them. Okay. Yes. Can't yeah. quite do four. Okay. But um, I think. What a fantastic ship! What a fantastic like turnaround for Chewie. It's a hell of yeah. a lot more interesting. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot more interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he so did this a focuses complete 180. Yeah. Um, yeah. This yeah. focuses on the Wookiee Ray. <laughs> it's a lot of, it's a lot of, people probably going to want to be taking down Chewbacca before he can get his free shots. Uh, but that's not going to be easy with because he's still got that 13 yeah. hit points. So thoughts, if you're yeah. going, if you're going with the Z95 swarm, what do you load up Chewie with, Max? Oh, hmm. Um, let's see. I know one that I'd go with instantly. Go for mm. it. Stick a gunner on him with mm. Predator. Yeah. Uh, because then Actually, something yeah. something that's, next yeah. something yeah. near yeah. you dies, you yeah. get to shoot. If shoot, that misses, misses you get, you get shot again. That. Yeah. I think to be honest, I'm actually thinking along what Max says. Um, defensive upgrades. If you're gonna if people are gonna be gunning for Chewie first, just make him as hard to kill as possible. Yeah. Yeah. You could even take it one step further and make a more supportive ship so that although he's dishing out the damage, he could help his Z95, so maybe swarm tactics or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um to get help get a Z95 into a pat skill five slot. But Absolutely. I think the Han Solo quote uh, for this ship is, uh, let the Wookiee win. <laughs> let the Wookiee <laughs> <Yes>. win. <laughs> Absolutely. Sadly, we don't have a counter for um, um, quotes, but there we go. Yeah. Absolutely. We shall move on to our next pilot, which is our brand new pilot. Uh, yes. Appropriately from the brand new film of The Force Awakens. Well, I said brand new film, the year ago yeah. now film. Yep. Uh, yeah. Ray is finally piloting Ray. the the Falcon appropriately from the film. Did anyone spot that pun? Uh, Hooray! Uh, yes, I heard I, it. I, just, I tried to uh, ignore it. We, 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 tried. Your counter. we tried. We tried. Ray is a pilot skill eight, and she's forty-five points. So she is actually one point, uh, one point less than Han Solo, or the old Han Solo, at least. Mm, yes, yes. both, um, both pricey. Points. Yeah, they're the same. She is, she is kind of pricey still, but she is pilot skill eight, mm-hmm. and when attacking or defending. If the enemy ship inside is inside her firing arc, I have heard this before. <laughs> Deja vu. Um, you may re-roll up to two of your blank results. Now, I believe this is the second ship that uh, rewards you for flying with things within your firing arc. Despite the other being one, a turret. Yeah, yes. this is the other one being mm. Dengar. Absolutely. I yes. think this is a real ray of light when it comes to the turret ships. They're just... I mean, really? I don't know about how... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how other people feel about the turrets, but I've always, I've never really liked turrets. It's really one of the reasons I've never had an original Falcon, because it just seems so dull. The fact that you don't actually have to fly well, or at mm. least you don't. there's not nearly as many pressures on you to fly well, just see, made it seem kind of boring, kind of dull yeah. and interesting. And I well, think Ray is fantastic. That a little. 
Okay. Yes, yes, Sorry, I yeah. think so. But I think Ray is just so such a good idea here. Yeah, it's a turret. You can still fire outside of arc, but when you're firing someone in arc, you get better, and that yes. is, I think, a really good thing to have. <laughs> yes, um, I absolutely adore this this ship. Mm. I think if I'm playing a Falcon, this is probably the, the ship I will go. I have this thing of um, I will always go for the sh- the, the second ship down. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's why I have a love for Cath Scarlet. It's why I have a love for uh, Morala Mival. It's yeah. why I have a love for um, technically B, RGB, but um, Absolutely. Uh, everything that's sort of the ones out. And it's just, again, with this. I love yeah. Ray. I love mm. the fact that she can do this. Um, you can pair it with so many things. Oh, yeah. She can do so well. Yeah. Um, so, even if you suddenly get a blank result. Yep. It's fine. You can just re-roll yep. them. And she doesn't if, actually need... Uh, it's one of those few ships that you can actually say you don't need anything to re-roll. You don't need target lock or any way of getting right. target locks or any way of getting... Yeah. Um, it leaves her free to take focus yes. or an engine yeah. upgrade to boost. You can whack a recon spec and that's fantastic. Yeah, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, best thing to put her with, and I'm going to spoil a new card as well, uh, a new upgrade, go for uh, it. is Finn is also in this set. Ray um, and Finn, I think, do come as Ray a match pair. Ray and Finn pair, come yeah. as a match pair. Uh, especially since he's sitting in the gunner slot, you know, doing yep. doing, yeah. doing his things. Uh, when attacking Missing. with a primary weapon or defending, if the enemy ship is inside your firing arc, you may add a blank result to your roll, it's... which is just mildly convenient because she used to be a stormtrooper, and stormtroopers always miss. <laughs> <laughs> it is though. It's it's expensive. Yes, yes. pricey. Uh, it is pricey. Points. It is five points. It is five points. It is the same oh. amount as a gunner. But yeah. with um, Ray's ability of rerolls, it basically, within firing arc, turns the, uh, the, the 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 Falcon into a four attack to evade ship. A four dice primary to evade thirteen it health ship. ship. That's that's big. It's basically <laughs> further rewarding you with for, rerolls. Yeah, it's further rewarding you for being a good pilot of keeping him in your firing arc. Yep. That means you get to reroll yeah. two mm-hmm. and also get an rank result onto that, which means you can push out so much damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially if you're ranked around one as well. That's only five results you've got yeah. Yeah. that yeah. you now can change and do what yeah. you want with. You've suddenly got an exposed decimator that's got to evade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's such a such a fantastic uh, combo of cards and I just cannot stress how amazing this thing uh, is. It's it's going to hurt. I it's going to hurt. It's going to do a dish out a lot of damage. Um, yeah. But it's also not easy to do as well because obviously you are a falcon. It rewards, you are, it rewards yes. you for yeah. playing the, well. It rewards good for helping it. Uh, Would you like to cover that as well, seeing as the two comers are linked set? Um, and I think it's almost after we've done. The I was say, the I'd, pilots, I'll probably cover okay. that on the last one um, uh, after you Fair. finish yours, because I think okay. we should move on to yours. Yours is extremely interesting. Finally, yes. we come to the the top pilot in the expansion, and of course, who else do you imagine piloting the Millennium Falcon other than Han Solo? Of course. Yes. Now, Han Solo's previous ability um, was uh, displaying his combat ability. So it was that you could pick up and re-roll all of the dice whenever you made an attack. Had to be all of the dice. And on a three dice primary turret, that was actually very, very powerful. Yeah. And in fact, early on in the game, um, so-called Fat Han builds, yeah. where Han was tooled up for defence and then he used his ability for offence, were actually very, very popular. Um, I think it was the inclusion of Han mm-hmm. Solo with the original upgrade pack that... Um, the expansion pack, sorry. That spawned the old Double Falcon list yes. that was yes. so... Prevalent at the yeah. time. It was uh, Han and Chewie, I believe, the yeah. two I, had together. I saw more Han Landos. Yeah, mm-hmm. basically a combination of two, yeah. but okay. with Han. But with the new Han Solo, he's still the same points value. He's still the same pilot skill of nine. He's one of only three Rebel pilots who have that pilot skill nine as base. Is it three? Yeah, Poe um, and a Wedge. So really talking about the very top pilots here. Have his new in ability. Rebels. Yes. <laughs> have his new ability. When you are placed during setup, you can be placed anywhere in the play area beyond range three of enemy ships. Okay. Wow, we've never seen anything like this as a game mechanic in X-Wing at all before. Uh, Effectively, yeah, Yeah. he can set up anywhere he wants to, even in the enemy's deployment zone. As long as he's not near them. As long (laughs) as he's not near them. But that doesn't doesn't Um, stop him from being, say, behind them? Something along those lines, and I think the key thing Ready here to is sweeping on the emperor. To blow yeah, him up. absolutely. I, I think it's going to be more useful as um, a way to the way that you see a lot of people fly falcons. They find yeah. a middle rock and just go round it. Mm. 
um, start on the rock. You can start next to that rock, ready to just start circling it. Absolutely. So there's another way of doing things as um, well. It forces your opponent to come into the asteroid field at you. Yeah. Mm. So that's so there, there's two different possibilities as well. Um, but the other thing is worth noting: pilot skill is vital here. As you yeah. know, you set up lowest pilot skill to highest, and what that means is Han Solo ideally wants to set up after everybody else. So initial things to into mind: adaptability, or even veteran instincts on him just to give him the top pilot skill possible. Absolutely mm. guaranteed that you're setting up after your opponent and effectively in their blind spot. So and hand shoots first again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you could say he's riding solo. Yay! No. Pun <laughs> counter. I like it. You can say he's riding solo. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Ding! Yeah. But there's just so many different things that you can do with that. Um, uh, and um, I suppose, the, uh, as Max says, one of the key mm. things here is you can get him behind that Emperor's shuttle to start that with. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So Palpatine <laughs> turn around yeah. and then Palpatine suddenly range. in trouble boys. Yeah. And suddenly he's got uh, that uh, Han Solo sitting at range one in his right in his back just, just blasting gone. away. Yeah. I'm blown, gone. Sorry I am um, I'm going to do a little act out here. That makes me feel very good because in <laughs> Legends Material when the Emperor got into a clone body, it was Han Solo who shot and killed the, the clone body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well. Well. Absolutely. Um, uh. So I think we can all agree, Palpatine <laughs> has been one of the most meta-defining cards ever yes. released for oh, X-Wing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. It has what it almost single handedly it put Palpatine Aces, so um a, a not choice of any one of a number of Imperial Ace ships, whether it's a there are level, a plentiful amount Phantom of or Defenders SFT. or mm-hmm. Interceptors SFT, yeah. or the Thai uh, advanced prototype, all of those have very viable ace pilots. And Palpatine giving them that extra one evade a turn, trying to punch through those already very tough, hard to kill ships, yeah. has just made them nightmare to deal with. Mm. And of course, you've got a problem. If you go for Palpatine first in his shuttle, because he takes up two crew slots, if you go for Palpatine first in his shuttle, all of those aces are on your tail, hitting you, hurting you all the time. And if you go for the aces first, you're faced with a problem that you might never hurt them. An entire turn might go by where you never even mm. see them, mm-hmm. let alone get to actually punch damage through on yeah. them. But this way, you basically mm. you can you can stick them in essentially a pincer, so they can't. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if they face one, they can either point towards Han, but then you've got the entire rest of your list behind them. Yeah. Or they can point at the rest of your list, and then Han's behind them. Absolutely. Uh, they. And I think that's going to be one of the key things in here. Managing, because what you're implicitly doing by having Han Solo, here's the downside. Mm. What you're implicitly doing is splitting your firepower, splitting your force. One of the key tenets of of, um, a war game is usually concentration of firepower, concentration of force. It's why flying in formation is so popular. And by doing this, Han Solo is very explicitly not with the rest of your force. Yeah. Upside is, the character, if fair. you can get them in so he's caught between two pincers, your opponent mm-hmm. is caught between two fires, yeah. Han and the rest of your force, yeah. that can be very, very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Although you've got the upside of forcing your opponent to split their fire in that way, um, mm-hmm. the only downside I see to his ability is Rebels are known for their support ships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the support ships are going to take a while to get to Han. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. In fact, I'd go so far as to say the natural elite pilot talent for Han Solo here, if you're not going for adaptability or veteran instincts to be for that I think we've that got the same thing, idea here. Wolf. Is Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf. Yeah. Absolutely. Completely. Han naturally starts off on his own here. Yeah. Giving him those re-rolls, I think, is a fantastic yeah. idea. Funny thing is, isn't uh, Lone Wolf re-roll a blank result? Yes. yes. So wouldn't Finn work really well with him as well? He might. Yeah. Because uh, technically, uh, they're in your firing up. Yeah. yeah. It's expensive, Worth noting, but... Finn adds a blank result. Yes. Now there are ways Which of re-rolling. Which yeah. with lone wolf. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. There are way. No. What I was going to say is there are ways of re-rolling more, blank um, attack lone wolf dice. Video. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, so for target locks will do it. Predator will do it. Yeah. But there are very, very few ways of re-rolling blank evade results. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Finn is, as a result, there are very few things that work with Finn. Lone Wolf is one of those very few ways of getting an extra. Yes, because Finn that works that also uh, as a result on either hitting, uh, when we're using a primary yeah. weapon, or when using defending. Absolutely. So, yes. you know, it's immediately add a blank result, suddenly you can reroll that with a Lone Wolf. It's a yeah. fantastic little tactic. And I really like that with New Hands Out, because again, suddenly your piloting matters because Finn yes. is in arc. Yes. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. have to have firing arc for Finn. Okay. So. 
different possibilities there, but I think that could. Um, I think it's going to be. Um, I don't think we're going to see it that often, mm -hmm. but when we do see it, I think people are going to be really thrown by it. They're mm -hmm. really going to have to figure out what on earth do I do? How do I it, deal with it's this? It's an it's aggressive complete, rebel ship with a very lot of hit points to kill. It's a yeah. very aggressive tactic. It's a very new tactic, which means we don't really know how to no. go to it yet. No idea how that's um, going to shake things up. Um, because we just haven't seen it before. Absolutely. It's, uh, no, it's, um, it's changing things, um, or will change things. I, I do have to raise my hand at something. You said earlier about missiles not being on Falcons before, or was no, it just it the wasn't on generic, generic one? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. on generic. Yeah. Cool. The, the I needed old, to clarify that. That was the thing. One now, <laughs> smuggler didn't I think that, yeah. that is another thing worth pointing out. Okay, um, with the new with the new uppowering of missiles, with the yes. with um, uh, ordnance suddenly yes. becoming ordnance yeah. suddenly becoming useful and popular. If you want Han Solo to do the maximum damage before your enemy has time to respond, a missile might not actually be a bad no, idea. Really. Say a homing I missile mean, and guidance chips. If you, missile, if you, guidance you're already if you're not, in their face, so why exactly, not advanced yeah. bombings? You know, absolutely yeah. for sure. No, um, you're advanced gonna, protons, sorry. Advanced protons. Oh, uh, that's, a, nice. that's a torpedo. That is a Oh, is that a is missile a slot? Ah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yes, it is a missile slot. But I could but see something like a homing missile yeah. being very good. Or I actually would about... see... Uh, was a concussion doing quite well as well? Because if you're the innate mods, yeah. If you're if they're setting mm. up as a close formation, yeah. Assault. You oh sorry, assault, assaults. That's yeah. what I meant. Assault missiles. Uh, yeah, assault um, missiles. Uh, if they're setting up on a close formation, you can just slowly uh, go in uh, to shoot off the assault missiles, and suddenly you're not only just hitting them, yeah. you're hitting their entire squadron. And it's worth noting, people yeah. do have the opportunity, knowing they're facing Han Solo, to counter-deploy, basically spread their ships out. Yes. But if they do but that, spread out their fire. they're losing their um, concentrated, concentrated fire. And also, fire. you could just use it as a straight fake-out. He's got that ability, yeah. you don't have to deploy that far no. forward. No, absolutely no. not. You can That's just put him straight in your deployment zone anyway, or somewhere close to it. Skill. They don't know what you're going to do. Absolutely, they, they're uh, going to have to guess. E either yeah. way, over the course of the game, you've got a pilot skill nine Falcon. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. lots of different possibilities there. Um, uh, final thing that occurs to brings to mind is what about ion pulse missile? Yeah. Okay. Mm. yeah. So particularly, um, uh, your opponents have just set up. They don't have much control over what's happening. Ion pulsing, say the Emperor. So that he can only go just, forward next like, turn. He can't turn and face tear, you. Tear in and eye on everything turn one. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Or eye on one thing turn one. Yeah. You can't yeah. eye on anything. It's, but not the, uh, it's not the torpedo, but yeah. yeah. No. It's the torpedo that would eye on everyone. Absolutely. So lots of different possibilities there. And I think, as I said, I don't think it's going to be as popular as the new Chewie or the new Ray. No, but I think not, when we but... do see it, there are going to be some really weird things occurring on the battlefield. And that yes. should make for great games to actually watch on the stream if we Excellent. get Excellent, yes. No, I completely yeah. agree with you. Uh, moving onward, I think it's now a great time to reveal that new title card as well. Absolutely, we have, yes. I've uh, been waiting yes. for it. The brand new uh, second title, Millennium mm. Falcon, as we had a previous Still with had. the same name. Yeah. Still with the same name. So you cannot have both titles, titles. Yeah. no. Uh, so, so, the original one gave you the ability to use an uh, evade action. Yep, literally just this add it to the bar for yes, a point. Just for a point. Yep. This one is also a point, as uh, very much, but it allows you to essentially sloop. Mm -hmm. uh, after you execute a three bank maneuver, uh, which is either left or right, you if you're not touching another, another ship and you're not stressed, you may rotate your you may receive a stress token to, rot to rotate your ship 180 degrees. Yeah, it basically turns your three uh, three banks into sloops. Well, it's actually better than that right, because you don't have because you don't have to do it until yep. after you've done the move. Yes, yeah, yep. um, it's an option in the same way that. Countess Riyadh gets to choose after she's moved yes. whether, or not she's uh, whether she's going to turn around or not. Yes, no. Yeah. And the other thing is, if you do hit someone along the way, so you can't do that sloop, you're not stressing stressed. yourself. No. Yeah. That's so um, it's a better than a sloop. It well, um, you can sloop. still turn around even when you bump. No, it no, says no, if you're not touching another ship oh, or okay. are not stressed. Yeah. Yeah. It does specifically say that. Yeah. Uh, so, I know, I was but, reading through some forums yeah. and people obviously <laughs> hadn't read that line of text. Not no, quite. Not yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can do a three-speed bump into something and turn around. Yeah. But but then, yeah, yeah, you can't the key thing is, though, it is a white manoeuvre, not a red one. So if you do yes. bump, you don't get stressed, unlike any other ship which does a sloop um, yep. or a K-turn and fails to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but we were also mentioning before the fact that Ray and also, if you have him on their fin, if he's on Han Solo thing, keeping them in your firing act, this is another great yeah, way of it, doing it so. It helps yes. to keep if you, people in your firing Yes, act. absolutely. So if you suddenly pass them, you can then go, oh, I'm going to turn around and suddenly you're still on my firing act. Yep. Especially, as has been mentioned, pairing it with um, Kanan Jarrus' crew to then remove that stress. Yes. Because yes. you yes. have done a white manoeuvre. Absolutely. So Kane and Jarrus' crew, if our 
thing will bring him up. I yes. don't know if that's entirely possible because it depends on the uh, timing. I, I did have a look through the timing windows in both the rule book and the a- FAQ. Yes. Um, it does work. It yeah, does work. It does. Um, you can do the three speed maneuver, um, choose to turn round. Mm-hmm. Um, take a stress and because you did a white manoeuvre at the check pilot stress yep. um, you can remove that stress with Kanan yep. absolutely yeah. Um, and in the same note you can do the three speed manoeuvre um, uh, it, it, it. it's, it's in the same timing window so you yep. get to choose yep. you get to choose so, so you yeah. do the three speed manoeuvre relieve a stress yes. and then, then turn around and take a stress, stress. yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. so as long as you don't have more than one stress you can do the yeah. S loop turn. Okay. Yeah. So in effect, worth so noting for <coughs> the three points, then you basically <coughs> turn that into a white loop. Yep. Because yes. nothing stops Kane and Jarrus working on the ship he's on. But it's no, all it's yes. But it's also another three points onto a particularly expensive, sh- maybe it a expensive ship. But so I think it'd be worth it. It might be worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think but three Ray... points for white S loop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Essentially, I think um, Ray specifically is the one you see most often with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, Ray will kind of fit that yes. the old fat hand slot, um, and Ray will kind yeah. of yeah because but Arc more interesting so but more that. interestingly because yeah. she actually has to fly well yes. yeah yeah can't just run and away from you with the arc is is so important on on yeah on Ray which is why Kane Jarrus makes so much sense there and Absolutely. with a large base ship a three bank is a long way it's a very <laughs> it long is way. a long way <laughs> yes. yeah so I think yes. we're going to see a lot of Ray. Um, Finn, Finn Kane. Kane and Jarrus Millennium Falcon second Millennium Falcon title yeah, yeah. not uh, in the Escalation tournament Elite Pilot Tower <laughs> I, I, maybe I have worked out that you can fit Ray with most of the upgrades uh, and, okay. a, and a um, Z95 only thing I will say is Elite Pilot Talent because we've still got the Elite Pilot yeah. Talent there because we've obviously True. filled the two crew slots we've got a yeah. title uh, modification um, we haven't put on yet obviously um, uh, you're going to see one I think to. you'll see an engine upgrade you might see an engine yep. upgrade uh, you, might see the, yeah. you might see the new uh, mod from this and we'll pack. come on to that in a little bit as yeah, well yeah. yes cool. there's, okay. there's, there's some good shots but Elite Pilot Talent slots first of all one thing springs to mind if she's going to be wanting to outmaneuver people, she wants to know where they are. So yes, once yeah. again, adaptability or veteran instincts uh, take part come of into there. Part ten is a very nice area to be in. Absolutely, in yeah. But I had another idea. This is one that's been discussed. Probably a lesser build, but it's going to be more fun. Put an engine upgrade on her and add a daredevil. Mm, yeah. Think about the places she could end up with that. Yeah. Because she I, can do I was toying with something to slightly differently. Mm-hmm. Daredevil. Uh, um, is specifically states that you do a white one turn, which then also can trigger Kane and Jarrus. Absolutely, yes. yeah. Yes. Uh, for that stress that you've just taken. Yeah. Um, so imagine this: the Falcon does its move, say a bank off to the side, then does a daredevil turn back in, which is a white manoeuvre. Yeah. Takes a stress. Takes stress. Clears takes off the, the stress, stress because Kane and Jarrus. She's not stressing. If she had. Say, oh no! It does say red. Yeah, oh, it does. Okay. No, it doesn't. That's the old card. They changed. Oh, the they did a rasa. Did they did uh, it? So it's a white maneuver, it? and then get us. Yeah, then get yes. us. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Now, even weirder. How about this one? Do a white three bank. Mm-hmm. Use the Millennium Falcon title to change it into a S loop. Yeah. Take a stress. Kane and Jarrus clears the stress, and then do a daredevil. Mm. Yeah. Where on earth could she end up facing after that? See, I, I was anyway, trying with something slightly things. differently, still putting the engine upgrade on there, yep. and using push the limit. Mm-hmm. Um, so okay. you've got um, potentially a white signals using the Canaan combo. Yep. Uh, so you can turn round, boost, and still still focus. Yep. Um, yep. And the next turn, if you really have to turn around again, you can still do it with yep. the Canaan. Um, Falcon title. Yeah, yeah, and worth combo. noting that we push the limit as well. Ray, um, Ray doesn't care about being stressed at the end of the turn unless she wants to do that S loop. Um, mm. Even without that, for, so for example, she moves, does a move, pushes the limit, and is stressed. Next yeah. turn, as long as she does a white manoeuvre or really a green manoeuvre, and every one except the K turn is a white or green manoeuvre, clear yeah. the stress. Mm. Even if she S loops, she's not going to get any actions because that's a second stress, but the S loop yeah. clears one of the stresses. It, it means you're getting more use out of Kanan. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, plenty of different options there. Definitely. I am going to end off uh, look, 